Hello, this is John Adelphi. Welcome to another episode of the Hut Home Underground. Today we are in Brewerton on Orange Port Road, 5206 Orange Port Road. And this is a colonial. Looks like it was at one time maybe a two car garage, but it's a one car garage, maybe a one and a half. We'll see. This is what the neighborhood looks like. And it's just about 1,500 square feet. Three bedroom, one bath, according to the stats. Already I can see it's got vinyl, white vinyl siding that's going to need to be uh, scrubbed. And the roof looks like it's relatively new, like within a couple years old. And so it's time now to take a look at the backyard. Let's go do that first. All right. It's fully fenced, but the fence is, is leaning over on this side and it's been braced up on this side. So some attention is going to have to be made to it. It's a half an acre. This is a pool, as you can see. Well, I'm suspecting there's a pool because the evidence are is that it's about the size of a pool. It's got a, uh, let's see, it's got diving board. That right there looks like there was a shed on that pad, whether it be concrete or not, I'm not sure. I think it is. Let's take a look at the back end of the house. Oh, we got an addition on the back. That's cool. See what that's all about. And the other thing is, is some of the wood trim needs to be painted and gutters. Gutters are so important, folks. I can't stress it enough. Got to get gutters up there. Gutters and grade away from the house. Three to six feet, three inches to six inches, one foot for each inch, and you will not have problems down in your basement. Now, I'm not saying that there is in this house, but that's what you got to do. Seamless gutter, by the way, is the way to go. They're only a few hundred dollars to do, like they're two hundred dollars to go across maybe, you know, the, this, uh, the upper part of the house, and they're worth it. Let's well, go. I failed to mention that the backyard or the yard is uh, half an acre, 100 by 200 feet. Okay, as we come into the entry area, all right. Hmm, interesting. This is like a split colonial, huh? Let's go upstairs first. Interesting. All right, carpet is, is good. It's a little bit soiled, but not bad. It's in good shape. That could be steam cleaned and it would look perfect. The walls are, are sort of a tan and, and brown motif and uh, it's not bad. It's a little dark in here, but I would you know brighten it up with lots of lighting and or repainting with something lighter. Here's the back room that the back addition I was wondering about this and again you've got that shag carpeting that looks really nice you've got vaulted ceilings they're about I would say like nine feet looks like a gas insert window box French doors closet space very nice <clears throat> The assessment on this property is about $120,000, and let's see when the last time it sold. It sold in 2006 as a HUD house? Hmm, $80,000 it sold in 2006 as a HUD home. Interesting. But before that, it sold for $93,000 in 2000. So now that's when they, okay. 1995 it sold for $80,000. Bathroom looks good. It's got tile. Yep, tile floor it looks like. Tile around the enclosure. Needs a little cleaning. A little paint. Yeah. Not bad. And we've got hardwood floors throughout. They look good. Um, you know, a little few little holes in the sheetrock that need to be patched. That's nothing. The windows are original from 1974 with aluminum storms, so eventually those could be replaced. And replacement windows cost anywhere between two to four hundred dollars per window, uh, and a lot of times you can get them done a few at a time if if you're on a budget. The rooms are are nice size. Of course, this is always the smaller room, and it's not terribly, terribly tiny. A 
All right, what do we got here? Closet. It's got an island, no appliances. And now we're going back down to where we came in from. Here's the entry that we came in. Lots of wood. That appeals to some people, not everyone. But uh, let's see what we got. A Oh, roughed in for uh, another bathroom. You could put a, yeah, you put another bathroom in here. And it is, it is a, it is a one car garage. At one time, this, no, I don't think this was. All right, down cellar. Basement feels relatively dry. It's hard to see down here, but I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> Hot water tank looks halfway decent. It is a uh, high efficiency one. Those cost about $750. Uh, they're a little more efficient. And we've got a Bryant. Looks, re looks good. Date of service, 42611. Property's been winterized fine in the sump pump down here. Okay, I'm going to give you my summary in just one second. Well, to summarize, uh, I like the home. It's good. It's in good condition, all things considered. Uh, HUD is currently asking 105, and should HUD lower the price before it gets sold, you'll see that price uh, in the ad or flashing on the screen. Uh, at the current price of 105, and what I know HUD will take for it, I'm thinking the price that, and I won't disclose this on film, but at the price that I believe HUD would take, I'm going to give this property a thumbs up. Uh, paying full asking price at 105, about seven eighths to three quarters thumbs up. I'm John Adolfi. You give me a call, 695 6434. I love HUD homes, and you will too someday. You guys have a great day.